In this video, I will go through the procedure of cleaning my mass airflow sensor and see how it can assist in reducing engine vibration in this 2011 Toyota Vitz 3 cylinder engine. I am now removing the rubber seal that connects my ear hose to the throttle body. So here it is, removing the rubber seal. First, I had to squeeze this clip here and then pull it free from the throttle body so now I am disconnecting the the throttle body from the ear intake hose here I've actually unscrewed some of these screws already I'm just using my hand to free the screws I'm just going to use my hands So finish unscrew these. So I have completely screwed the unscrewed these screw that hold the throttle body to the, the ear intake manifold. So I am going to just lift up the throttle body. Now I am just going to put the throttle body aside because doing this I still have access to the mass airflow sensor. The mass airflow sensor is somewhere around here. Here it is. Okay, so this this here is the mass this here is the mass airflow sensor. And I'm going to unscrew the screws that hold this together. Okay, so what I did was to put the the throttle body aside and uh, I am now going to disconnect here it is the mass airflow sensor so I'm going to disconnect the mass airflow sensor I cannot do it with my one hand I'd actually pulled the clip before so here just pull it out because I had pulled the clip before so here is a mass airflow sensor looking at uh, looking at it better view the mass airflow sensor looks as if it has a lot of oil on it so I would have to clean off this oil here's the oil a lot of oil on this side there so I'd have to clean off this oil and then I'll replace it and see what happens if there's any change in the engine vibration of the vehicle all right so this is the air cleaner at WD-40 specialist electrical contact cleaner spray and based on what is here I have some electronic diagram that is here and some other electrical diagram and based on the instruction it says clean sensitive electronic equipment plastic and metal safe and leaves no residue so this is the cleaner that I got and this is what I'll be using. What I did was to place the mass airflow sensor on a dirty rag so that I can have better handling of the, the camera and while spraying the mass airflow sensor and cleaning it. So here, hold the cleaner at a distance and spray the mass airflow sensor, cleaning it. All right. Turn it into another direction. All right, so I'm just ensuring that the cleaner catches all parts of the the, the sensor. So what I'm going to do is to leave it to to dry for a while, and then after which I will replace it when it is fully dry here I am also spraying some of the cleaner on the throttle body so that the inside of the throttle body can also be cleaned all right so I'm 
just going to leave that for a while for the the cleaner to remove some of the grease and then what I will do is to drain off any excess cleaner out of the throttle body if necessary. Alright I'm gonna turn over the throttle body to see the bottom half of it and we're gonna look at how how it looks if it if it is dirty. Alright so turning it over all right, this is the bottom half of the throttle body and yes the throttle body looks dirty and requires cleaning so what I will do is to just clean this with a piece of cloth that I have here I've actually wiped this section on the throttle body and this is what comes up so I'll just finish cleaning it and then afterwards we will look and see what it looks like so how the bod throttle body looks after cleaning it here it is even though inside of it is not perfectly clean but at least most of the, the grease that was inside of it have been removed I think this is comfortable enough um, and I don't think that this will cause any issue moving forward with the cleaning of this throttle body Alright, so here was where the mass airflow sensor which was removed. This this hole right here. Hopefully you can see right here. And what I'm gonna do is to replace the mass airflow sensor since I have already cleaned the mass airflow sensor and I've cleaned the throttle body body both the upside and the downside. So the next thing to do is to Put back all the things that I took out in the way in which I had removed them. So I'm replacing this mass airflow sensor. So here it is. Replacing the mass airflow sensor. So here I have replaced the mass airflow sensor right here so there are two screws on both sides so I've replaced them difficult working with the the tools and using the camera so that's why I'm not able to work while videoing the, what I am doing so I've replaced the mass airflow sensor now to to put back the throttle body okay so here I have placed the throttle body back onto the your intake manifold so I am just to tighten it down so the screws the screws are screwed to certain points so it's just to use the tool and to finish tighten down these screws that are here all right so I'm going to finish tightening them with the, the ratchet all right so I have screwed on tight the throttle body and I've replaced this rubber seal and the clip the screws are screwed on properly so the only thing that is left to do is to replace the the air filtration system and that is what I am about to do now so here is the air filtration system putting it back and when I'm finished We'll start the car and see how it performs. All right, so all the necessary components were, were replaced and it's just to start the car and to see if the vibration issue has reduced somewhat or any at all. All right, I'm gonna see what will be happening if any light will come on inside the vehicle. Maybe I expect that because I disconnected some wires so maybe I will see a light or two come on and I'll have to use the blue driver scan tool to cancel those errors that I, that may come up as i've said may come up may not come up the errors because i disconnected some wire connections starting the car it's ready finance pay nothing down when you shop on six to thirty six months credit don't miss a moment of action okay so uh, the the trunk is open so probably that's why you will see the, the door lights on here 
All right, going to the live data function, starting the car engine. Just checking the the RPM of the vehicle. Well, I just started the vehicle; it was old. RPM is going down. RPM is still going down. Going down even further. RPM is going even further down. 1100 RPM. Between 1000 to 1100 and something RPM. Winding down the right window. Right down. No vibration. Winding down the left window. Basically no vibration. I'm going to drive the vehicle for a while. Driving the vehicle. Reversing here. Just reversing. Put the car into drive. Moving forward. Apply gas. Just checking to see if the engine vibration have stopped. So this would be the part three of engine vibration. Alright, I'm gonna stop a little. Put the car in park. Check in the RPM. Winding down the left window. No vibration. Winding up at the left window. No vibration. Turning on the hazard light. No vibration. Alright, I'm going driving again. Applying some amount of gas. Let me stop the vehicle. See the second stop. Put the vehicle in park. Pull up the handbrake. The RPM is 800 and something. Not bad. I'm going to turn on the AC. RPM went up. Usually when you turn on the AC, the RPM would go up a little. It's coming back down somewhat. Vibration in the engine basically is very much reduced. You're hardly feeling any vibration. Turning off by the AC. Okay, the engine RPM went up a little, then goes back down. I'm going to drive again. going to make a third stop I'm going to stop here again check the vibrating effect okay put the vehicle in park again pull up the handbrake well, the rpm is basically closer to 700 rpm turn on the ac engine rpm went up a little comes back down Engine RPM is mainly at closer to 800, going below 800. It's a little vibration, but it is still better than what it was before. Alright, I'm going to turn off at the AC. Engine RPM goes up a little and I'm going to drive again. So this would have been the third check to see what the engine vibration was when I turn on the AC. So, signing out for now until I reach home I'm at home parking the vehicle I know I am parked turning on the AC there's a slight vibration but uh, engine vibration came on a, a, a little but it quickly went away 
came on a little and quickly went away uh, you can say that the engine vibration has reduced dramatically not that it has stopped but I would say about 70% for the AC winding down the left window not much vibration winding back up the left window not much vibration winding up the right window not much vibration what I am seeing is that the the engine RPM really stick closer to 700 RPM while applying the different engine loads so I think in some way some ways the cleaning of the mass airflow sensor and cleaning out the throttle body cylinder and the throttle body valve um, assisted or helped in some way to reduce engine vibration it is not fully removed but at least there is some results positive results in cleaning these parts so again um, this has helped a lot and thanks to Rod Pison, a YouTuber who have given me the suggestion to clean the mass airflow sensor and the the um, throttle body valve. So once again, thank you, Rod Pison. It has helped in reducing the engine vibration. It, it is not gone, but it has reduced it significantly. All right, YouTubers, um, this is a way in which we can reduce engine vibration in Toyota Vits. Um, this vehicle here is 2011 and it's a three cylinder engine. So, signing off until I um, check on other issues again.